and talking with my mind. With my mind it was set, set on freedom. Well, I'm walking and talking with my mind. Set on freedom. Well, I'm walking and talking with my mind. It was set. I've been working as the community leader on the Raise Your Voice Pembrokeshire project. Span Arts has a wealth of experience of working with singing in the community. The project came out of an aim to expand our existing community choir called Pau, which means everybody's choir, and really make it truly intergenerational so we were looking to try and bring together a choir of voices from zero to 100 years old. My name's Mollera, I'm a singer and songwriter. I've been singing for well longer than I care to remember and I've been teaching singing for the last 20 to 30 years. I was really pleased to be involved in the Raise Your Voice Pembrokeshire project as the songwriter to write an original piece of music. Singing for health and well-being has come much more into our everyday lives now. I've been banging on about it for years, but um, I do believe that everybody can sing. I do believe that in singing together there's something about letting your guard down emotionally and doing something which a lot of people find nerve-wracking individually. And if you can then span a generation or several generations and for example take young kids and school kids into care homes to sing with the elderly residents it's really lovely because there's a light that comes into the residents eyes when these small people turn up and start running around and the energy is just different and it's and it's lovely to see that energy. I didn't bring the whistle with me, the train whistle. <laughs> oh, <dash. laughs> Here we go. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Woo woo! Track 29. It was very low. Boy, I can give you a shine. <laughs> I'm Thomas Hopkins and I'm very fortunate to be a member of Core Pal. I joined uh, just this last year and it's great to have an activity where everybody comes together on a Sunday to partake in singing and it's a very welcoming group and everybody just comes in and joins. It's such a good thing for our community to have an experience that everybody can enjoy and, and music, it just brings people together. Well, singing's always like... It just makes you feel full of energy, I feel, when you sing. You know, you, you sing on your own sometimes, but when you're singing with other people, it, it definitely gives you such a boost of well-being and, you know, you feel so positive. So another aim of the project was to bring everyone together for a, a big celebration event. So as well as existing members of Korpaub, we've pulled in lots of members of the public who've read about the project in the newspapers and we just wanted to give, bring them all together and give them a chance to sing along to some well-known songs and just generally be part of the experience. Yeah. Together as man and wife for a long, long time, long time thirty yeah. years plus. Yep. 
I particularly enjoy the community singing because we sing a range of different songs um, from all around the world. The harmonies are just beautiful and everybody's in it together so it's very supportive. Yeah, and you meet so many nice yeah, people yeah. because they're all of the same yeah. mind, they all want to sing and we all feel like a big family. Yeah, we do, absolutely. Yeah. For me, it's been a great coming together of all the different areas of my life. I have an a cappella youth group. Um, I teach a couple of the local choirs as well as my own choir. We have Cor Paub, the choir of everybody, as well as the Caring Choirs Project, which is singing in care homes. And it's just been lovely to bring together all of those different people, the groups and, and, and friends and neighbours and relatives to come and sing united in the attempt to span a hundred years of singing. My name's Ifti and this is Amelia. Hi, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Dean. I'm Zaya. I think age is something that should be recognised. The older people get the more respect they deserve and the younger people are the more understanding and tolerance they deserve. And I really enjoy meeting new people that I wouldn't otherwise have met. And there's lots of really interesting people come to these sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to see it for myself. Because 100 years, it's a lot. And I saw the picture of the 100-year-old and the 0-year-old. Mm. It was so cute. I, like, nearly cried. Thinking 100 years, like a full century, it's like, way. And the fact that you can still sing at not in 100 is quite cool. Mollera created an amazing song built up from the information that choir members gave us about what they felt singing was for them. Have the lead, the energy, together we have the lead, community, therapy, uplifting us, set off free of sing, 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 sing now, sing, our people sing. Personally, I sing because I love harmonies. I love hearing people sing in harmony. And it just physically makes me happy. It's a very embodied experience. I love connecting with people, singing across the circle at each other. I love making friends from people with, with people from different walks of life, and older than me, younger than me. And there's, there's something really special about that connection you get with, with all of the different generations together that you wouldn't, you wouldn't really have in your everyday life. Mm. brings everyone together, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. It's just been a really, really nice event. Um, community, food and singing, you know, perfect combination of really lovely things. And I'll add, I don't usually sing, but I did today. I made up my numbers in the <clears throat> age group and I really enjoyed it. I loved singing along, it was great. Thank you very much. Let your arms be as warm as the sun from above. Bye. Bye.